Recorded Books and One Click Digital present Heartless by Mary Bellog. Narrated by Rosalind Landor. Chapter One Faith, child, Lady Stern said to her goddaughter, tis time you gave some thought to yourself. Always it has been your family. First your mamma, may God rest her soul, and then your papa, may God rest his, and always your brother and the girls. Well, now Victor is of age and has come into his inheritance. Charlotte is married. Agnes is as pretty as a spring meadow and is like to marry as soon as we have presented her to some eligible gentleman. And Emily, well, you just cannot make yourself a martyr to your youngest sister. Tis time you looked to your own interests. Lady Anna Marlowe smiled and watched her younger sister at the other end of the gallery being fitted out for fashionable clothes suitable to be worn in London. Bolts of fabric, mostly silks and shimmering satins, were piled on tables, some of them partly unrolled. There was some excitement about the scene, and about the anticipation of seeing the clothes made and worn, she had to admit. Agnes is eighteen, Aunt Marjorie, she said. I am five and twenty, on the shelf, one might say. And I vow that is where you wish to stay, Lady Stern said sharply. "'Life slips by fast, child, and increases in pace as one gets older, I swear, "'and life can become filled with regrets for what one might have done in the past but did not do. "'Tis not too late for you to seek a husband, but in another year or two perhaps it will be. "'Men do not look for breeders among women who are staring thirty years in the face, "'and men, of course, look for breeders when they choose mates. "'You have a great deal of love to give, Anna.' You should now be looking to giving it to a husband, and to receiving love in return, and position and security. That last point hit home. Victor, Anna's only brother, had recently celebrated his...